Hi guys, hello everyone. I welcome you all to our session number five. And for this session, of course, we will be using, no, and we will be learning the use of Maslow's hierarchy of needs as an answering model in your Philippine nurse licensure examination. Many students have been asking me before, sir, totoo, we can use the Maslow's hierarchy of needs model or the pyramid itself because many students know this pyramid, they know the model itself, but they don't know that it is a model used, no? Or as a guide by the Board of Nursing in conceptualizing PNLA questions. And um, using the Maslow's hierarchy of needs is an essential part, no? Although this is used generically, no? Um, ginagamit sa psychology, in social development, social sciences, and even in education. Nandiyan po ang ating Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Lalong lalo na in the nursing profession. Maslow's hierarchy of needs is a very important model. So, why Maslow? Okay, so Maslow's hierarchy of needs is a motivational theory in psychology comprising a five-year model of human needs, often depicted as the hierarchical levels within a pyramid. No, So, it is a pyramid and it is a model or it is a theory that pwede po natin magamit actually when we are going to, uh, if we're going to face um, some questions in the PNLE, and many students fail to answer, it's because they they forget to use the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which is a very important model that was taught to us in the nursing school. So you know what? This can be used in answering the PNLE questions or on prioritization questions. Okay, so. It can be used in answering your PNL questions to be specific in your prioritization question or those questions that asks which should be prioritized first or what needs must be prioritized first. Okay, so let's have a sort of review of your Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Simply lang. Okay, ang pinakauna daw need, sabi ni Abraham Maslow, ang pinakaunang need ng tao is yung tinatawag natin physiological needs which compose of your air, water, food, shelter, sleep, clothing, reproduction, yan. freedom from pain, it's there. Okay? Yan ang sinasabi ni Abraham Maslow. Lahat daw ng physiological needs ni ninyo or natin, lahat ng, uh, actually, it is sometimes called as your um, basic needs, no? Ito yung pinakauna. Okay, your anatomical needs, no? That's your physiological needs. Air, water, food, shelter, sleep, clothing, reproduction. Okay, those are the most important part, no, of the hierarchy of needs. Second one is your safety needs. Okay, which compose of your personal security, employment, resources, health, property. And the third one, naman class, is your love and belongingness. Actually, in your love and belongingness, nandyan po ang friendship, intimacy, family, sense of connection. Okay, so pangatlo pa po siya. Now, if you will be asked kung anong uunahin mo, ang personal needs mo o ang relasyon, okay, you need first to prioritize your personal needs. Okay? So, it's a lesson for us, no? And then, third, uh, I mean, the fourth one, going up, you have your self-esteem. So, nandyan na po ang respect, self-esteem, status recognition, strength, and freedom. And of course, last but not the least, ang ating self-actualization. Okay? Nandun, nandun yun sa pinakataas. Or the desire to become the most that one can be. Okay? Yan ang tinatawag natin self-actualization. Now, how to use it? Simply lang. When you see that option that needs to be prioritized, okay, that needs to be prioritized, remember that it's the correct answer. Just use the uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Just use the pyramid. Okay? So, you're, and you will land. I'm very, very sure with that. And you will land with uh, the correct answer. So, let's have an example here as a question. Sabi dito sa question, when caring for a patient with anorexia, which of the following should take the highest priority? Yan. Ang tanong dito, may isang pasyente, may anorexia siya, at si nurse daw, ay dapat alam ni nurse, no, na in a patient with anorexia, when we say anorexia, yung hindi kumakain, is a type of uh, eating disorder in your psychiatric nursing. Okay? So, 
when caring for a patient with anorexia, which of the following should take the highest priority, yung pinakamataas? Okay, again, I will, I will be giving you a hint when you are asked every question, every penal question, re repeat reading the question, lalo-lalo na kung hindi mahaba, at least two to three times. Okay? So, when caring for a patient with anorexia, which of the following should take the highest priority? Sabi sa letter A, self-image. Letter B, relationships. Letter C, nutritional intake. Letter D, none of the above. Again, if we will be using the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, alam natin ang pinakababa, it's the physiological needs. So now, let's try to eliminate our options one by one. And when you try to eliminate um, your options one by one, you start looking at the wrong options. Ang pagkakamali kasi natin na, uh, well, inuuna natin tinitingnan kung, ano, kung alin yung tamang sagot. A, hindi ito. B, hindi ito eh. Now, we, we most of the time land uh, in the wrong option doing that. So, how do we do it? You start it by looking at the wrong option. Okay, self-image. Alam natin ang self-image yung pinaka, uh, nandun sa pinakataas. Okay, either self-esteem or the self-actualization. So, parang hindi pa siya yung highest priority. So, you eliminate that one. Relationships, kasasabi lang kanina. Okay, it is on the uh, fourth level. Okay, so... Um, it, it, it belongs in, I mean, it belongs into the third level. We have it in the um, love and belongingness. Okay, so now you have already eliminated letter A and letter B. And now, another clue nga pala, guys. Okay, so letter D, that's a negative statement. You know what? It's a general rule internationally. Kapag ang question ay um, positive, you do not answer um, something that's negative. Okay, so... Dahil positive ang question, which of the following should take the highest priority? That's a positive um, question. So, D, because it's a negative uh, option, you do not answer that one. So, the best answer here is, of course, alam natin yan, nutritional intake. Why? Because nutritional intake includes food. It includes water. Okay? It even includes air. Okay? Because... Um, how about this one? Uh, balanced life is part of your nutritional um, system as a whole. Okay, It may not be part of your intake, but it is included in your nutrition as, a, in, as an entire concept. Okay, And your well-being as an entire concept. So uh, that's basically how are we, we going to use it. Okay, You use the Maslow's hierarchy of needs based on those questions that needs to be uh, in a prioritization type of question, okay? But if not, of course, we'll be having another model and we will be teaching you that as we go along with the uh, sessions, okay? So now let's have, and let's try to uh, answer some few questions here. Okay, so sumagot po tayo ng mga ilang questions dito. And, and in here, I will be giving you 60 seconds, okay? I will be giving you 60 seconds for you to analyze kung ano ba yung tamang sagot, Okay? So, let's have the first question. Ayan, all right. Okay, so in a patient diagnosed with HIV and AIDS, or I mean HIV AIDS, which of the following should be the highest priority? Sa isang pasyente daw na may HIV and AIDS, ano daw ang uh, pinaka-priority among the options? Okay, so again, 
let's use and utilize the Maslow's hierarchy of needs pyramid. Okay, first, distorted body image. Again, body image, nasa taas siya, but okay. Mamaya, letter B, low self-esteem. Low self-esteem, alam natin yan, it's in the fourth level. Okay, self-infliction, letter D, risk for infection. Okay, so the best answer for this one is not letter A and letter B, you eliminate that one. Alam natin that distorted body image, that's at the uh, level four. Low self-esteem, alam natin yan na nasa level four din yan. Okay, for self-infliction and risk for infection, you need to remember that self-infliction is nasa safety and security pa yan. Okay? So, upon the other hand, your risk for infection is part of your physiological need. Okay? It's part of your physiological priority. Okay? Hence, the best answer for this one is alam natin yan, of course, it's letter D. Ayan. I know you're getting it and I know naiintindihan po natin uh, because the model is so uh, familiar to us. You just memorize the levels. And I know you're going to get the best or the right answer in every question na prioritization na kung saan we need to utilize the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Okay, let's have another question here. Another 60 seconds for you guys. Okay. Alam nyo guys, this question is an actual NCLEX and at the same time PNLE question. Okay? So this is a previous question in the PNLE. So, a patient is diagnosed with catatonic schizophrenia stupor, is seated on a bed while staring at a widely opened window. Okay? Which of the following is the highest priority nursing care? So, Yung pasyente daw is kat, may katatonia or katatonic schizophrenia stupor. Ibig sabihin, naniniga siya. Okay? Okay? Seated on a bed while staring at a widely opened window. Halimbawa, yung pasyente dito, no? Ang pasyente dito is actually uh, katatonic, hindi gumagalaw for, I think, um, few hours, few minutes, few hours. At alam nyo, mga katatonic patients, guys, umaabot yan even hanggang days na hindi sila gumagalaw. Okay? Ganyan po ang uh, catatonic schizophrenia. Dito sa question na to, uh, the catatonic schizophrenia uh, super patient is um, looking at a widely open window. So, nanini, nakaupo lang siya, tapos hindi siya gumagalaw. So, which of the following is the highest priority nursing care? Alam ko that you are answering here Letter C, safety. But I tell you guys, that's not the correct answer. Okay, but because iniisip natin, ah, nakatagas siya, baka matumba. Okay? So, here, you need to remember that dalawa po ang anggulo na titingnan natin dito. Unang-una, when you say, ah, baka matumba si patient, that's already trying to over-rationalize things. Dito, you are asked of the current situation of the patient. So, again, None of the above, that's a negative option. Positive ang question, you do not answer that one. Okay? So, letter C and letter D is already eliminated. So, of course, between hygiene and letter A, okay, nutrition, sabi dito, alam nyo, nakakapag-joke pa dito ang, ang, ang mga uh, lecturers. Prioritize mong hygiene, sige, baka mamatay ang pasyente. Okay? No, it's not. Of course, alam natin yan that the priority is of course, nutrition. Just imagine the patient is 
um, katatoon ni hindi gumagalaw, ibig sabihin, um, merong uh, problem in the activities of daily living. So, hindi yan nakakakain. All the more that the patient will be manifesting um, catatonic symptoms, no? Yan. Yeah, and that's very important for us to know. Okay? So, the priority here is still nutrition. And of course, it's a physio physiological need. We need to remember that one. Okay. Let's have another question here and another 60 seconds. Ayan. Okay. When caring about a patient who recently had a chemotherapy, which of the following should be given the highest attention? It's all the same. And dito ang highest priority mo. Okay? Yung pasyente may chem nag-chemotherapy. Okay. Sabi sa letter A, skin break breakdown. Letter B, kalo kylosis. Letter C, burn skin. Or letter D, body weakness. Alam ko that you will be using here the technique that I have taught you. And it's the identical options. Letter A and letter C is just the same. Burn skin, skin breakdown, that's just the same. So again, we can't have the same or two right answer in a given question. So you eliminate those two. Okay? So letter D, body weakness. Letter B, kylosis. So ano bang tamang sagot dito? Alam mo ang body weakness, pero probably or baka alam mo or i think baka hindi mo rin alam so one of the um technique also in the PNLE after you have eliminated the wrong options kung may natitira okay most of the time that's the correct answer so for this one body weakness and kylosis possibly pagpalagay natin na hindi ko alam oh, what's kylosis pero alam ko nang body weakness okay it's panghihina ng katawan so is panghihina ng katawan the highest priority here? No, I, I should be eliminating it as well. Okay, so B is the correct answer for me. Pwedeng chamba yon, kasi hindi ko alam, no? But that's also a technique used in the PNLE. But kylosis is actually a, a, a type of um, nagsisimula yan sa dryness, na, dryness no, ng ating siguro lips, the corner of the lips, or parts of our mouth, no? specifically dito muna sa lips nag uh, the dry no and then eventually magka-crack yan okay there will be cracking later on which will of course end into your uh, infection of the oral cavity later on no or stomatitis okay so bakit ganun kahalaga na uh, bantay natin ng kylosis why because kylosis is actually already a sign that a patient might be having this, what we call as herpan cytopenia. Okay, cytopenia is, of course, it is a complication in chemotherapy wherein pan, when we say pan, it's uh, general. Okay, cytopenia, ibig sabihin yung ating blood cells ay bumababa. So, bumababa dyan ang ating WBC, RBC, okay, ang ating mga blood components. Okay, bumababa. So, ibig sabihin, there's already a problem. So, it is manifested, actually, one of the manifestations is the dryness of skin. So, ibig sabihin, it should be given the highest priority. Okay? So, the correct answer for this one is, of course, letter B, kylosis. Okay? So, I know that you're getting it right now. And I hope and I pray, no, that we've learned something on how to use our Maslow's hierarchy of needs as a model no, in our PNLE question. Maraming salamat po and see you guys next session.